What's up guys, Linz here. I'm back with another YouTube video. Uh, today I'm going to be breaking down my Dong Kong flip and just kind of how I do my flips in general. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. Okay, so starting with the project, uh, the first thing I got was the original track. Basically, the idea I had is I wanted to go with something a little more melodic than the original. So I took the vocal in the main drop i think it's in the second drop of the original and created a distorted vocal chop with it so it kind of sounds sounds something like this and then for the b part it is a just a bass that's originally sampled from the original that i just pitched down i think one note to make it a little more interesting as a progression it sounds like this and so all those together you get this kind of cool progression. So it's really simple. It's just a lot of resampling the original song, processing it a bit. So the processing for this is just an EQ, cutting the lows for this layer, which I'm pretty sure is like the main. Yeah, so it's like a EQ only cutting the lows apparently. Some erosion. Without the effects, it sounds like this. And it's pitched up as well, but these just are adding a bit of texture to it. Which I thought sounded good. Um, and then I think I have a reverb layer, yeah, reverb part. So it's very short reverb, just to add a bit of space. Um, yeah, it's pretty, it's really simple stuff. Nothing too, too crazy. I think if it's simple and it works, then it works. It's good. Going into the bases, so... It took me a little bit, but I had to figure out what the notes were all playing. So I have like the main bass, which is right here. The sub, yeah. The sub is playing all the notes. And then I have accentuation basses, just accenting certain parts of it, certain elements. That's accentuating the bottom in the vocal. And I have this this thing here, which is a yeah. And then this is sampled from another Don Kong song, so, but you can barely hear it. I also have this 808 fill, just like a tom, which sounds like this. Um, thermal is what's making that like resonance. And the B part, that's the A part. So all the A part together sounds like this. In the B part, I have this stab. Pretty sure I made and just consolidated it. And then this preset looks like this. It's just a sine wave, a saw with some distortion and compression. And then, yeah, more distortion, saturation, and EQ doing whatever that's doing. Just cutting out like probably the mids. Very distorted, but all of these together sound like this with the with the sub as well. <laughs> Onto the drums. So the drums, I wanted them to be super punchy, so that it's just like hits you in the face. So I have the kick, which is from the original track, actually. Uh, clap, which is also from the original. This tom fill. A uh, cage drum loop, which is just some more like textures. Um, this thing, I don't actually know what this is. Uh, Magnus House Party Fill, which is, I just took the middle of it, which is, just thought it added some, some flair to it, I guess. Because with everything, it sounds like this. Yeah, it kind of like sweeps, sweeps it in, you know? I have this drum fill from Cage as well, just chopped up. And then a, pretty sure this is and more drum fills, but this is layered with a clap that's extended out. So it's kind of like a, almost like a protest there, but a clap. So all the drums together. And 
And then the second part, hats come in. And it's these are just TPS pack. These are my own hats. Um, but yeah, it's just... Yeah, that's basically the first drop. Really not a whole lot going on, just a lot of resampling, processing. And um, yeah, it's just, that's about the entire premise of that. Um, for the second break, it's the same thing as the original. I think I just restructured it a bit because it went into, yeah, it went into this weird, like there was a kick, which didn't really flow well into my drop. Yeah, all this perked, they didn't really work with my original idea so i just cut it and went back to the start basically oh i have this bass here pretty sure it's a like a kind of sound i guess yeah so it's just complementing this in the original track so together those are like i thought it added a bit of flair the build is Different than the first one in the sense of I added like the reverbed out sampled chops. Um, and the reverb that's doing that is super massive. It just adds that like granular kind of sound. So it's cool. And that's about it for the break. Uh, second drop is the same thing except in the first... From 81 to 83, basically, there's uh, this tech housey downlifter, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's made by just this wavetable. So don't actually, digital C12, C, uh, disc C2, sorry. Um, and then a saw wave. And the LFO is on hertz instead of a beat. So it basically, you have free range to do really whatever. Um, and then I took the LFO, automated it to where it syncs up with the rhythm of this B part, the bum bum, which made it flow really nicely. And I didn't mean to, but the tone in this B part, kind of like secondary sound of the bass, there's kind of like a higher donk noise, I guess. I guess you could say that. The uh, this part here is a really similar tone to this. Um, so it flows really well, which I did not mean to do. I just sounded cool, and then I realized it like a week after I released it that it fit really well. But this is what this sounds like with all the drums. <laughs> And yeah, that's really it. It's, And then from there on, it's just a copy-paste of the first drop because it's a flip, so it doesn't have to be crazy. Yeah, that's that's the whole premise. Uh, this is what the drop sounds like. Um, for one more time, before I head out. So yeah, take a listen. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed this short little video. Uh, hopefully you learned something about how I, my process, how I make my flips. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.